We've heard of national stories where people accidentally drive into a convenience store or restaurant. The Wolke family thinks this was an accident too, but they tell us the vehicle that struck it was traveling so fast it left car parts. I think they hit the cement step and popped into the door and then they scraped along the side of the house and left dents and hit a metal package that we have for our roof. Some of those include a rear view mirror, the grill, and the front bumper. Based on those parts, the Brown County Sheriff's Office suspects it was a maroon Dodge. You can see where they veered off the side of the road on the other side before they came to our side of the road and went off. I don't know how they missed the telephone pole. This is the family's first house flip. It's a passion project for them. They tell me that they're not looking to press charges, rather get money to fix what happened. But even if they were if they were messed up or they were drunk, if they would have left me a note that said, hey, I messed up, I'm sorry, I'll be back in the morning to give you my insurance information, I'd have been fine. The damages from Tuesday night's crash are estimated to be in the several thousands. For this to happen to our first one, it's just been you know, a roller coaster and for it to just be demolished, everything that he's done just feels terrible. The house they poured their life savings into had just gotten a new door and metal detailing. This is our first fixer upper and we're going to see the project through. Reporting in Sardinia, I'm Paige Barnes, Local 12 News. And so far, no leads in this investigation. They hope come Monday, someone will come forward. If you see a maroon Dodge that is missing car parts, call the Brown County Sheriff's Office.